got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Do you guys have a bucket list? I don't know. I mean, I have things I want to do before I die, so yeah. I guess so. Yeah, that's a bucket list. Fuck what, it let's, list. Let's talk about a uh, fuck it list. Now, we're, now we're now, talking. I definitely like have a fuck it list. Is that just things you want to put your penis in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you corrected yourself from saying dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think penis is more funny. You're Richard Ding Dang. <laughs> your pee pee. Your Winkus. <laughs> God. Well, tell me some things. I want to know three things <laughs> in your theoretical sword. penis list or bucket list. <laughs> um, I think my bucket list. Um... <laughs> A cantaloupe. God damn it. I've done that. Apple pie. Oh, what? <laughs> I think I've told you Apple all. Pie is golden I hot, man. knew a guy. In, you like cool first. I knew a guy in high school who allegedly got second degree burns on his penis. <laughs> because he filled a paper towel tube with grape jelly and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then inserted his jing jang into it. He didn't it. put his finger in first? That's always been the question. Why wouldn't you put your finger in first? It's way more sensitive. <laughs> your finger? <laughs> no, no. The ding dangle. Your lieutenant dangle. <laughs> Jesus. This hey, is not how you thought this no, was going to go. No, but this is <laughs> even <laughs> better. I love our, like, we always are like, how can we derail this topic? Like, mad crazy. I just love the insanity that we spiral into. Can well, we let, let me bring it back to reality. Let me tell you about one thing that I want to do. Okay. okay. I want to go see the Northern Lights. Oh, Ooh. shit, yeah. I want to see them, and uh, I, I forget which country this is in. I think it's, like, maybe Finland or... Uh, one of, those, one of those fjord kind of one of the ice the the snowy ones um <laughs> but they have like these like glass dome igloo like mm -hmm. like uh, buildings oh, yeah, and you can just sleep and look at the stars through the freaking dome that sounds awesome and the northern lights as well. i think you'd hate it why you'd hate getting there <laughs> i think you'd hate getting there and being there and you'd be like oh fuck this <laughs> Oh, no, I disagree. We had a lot of fun we uh, all together I mean, when we went to the seat of the uh, yeah, that total was solar super eclipse. spontaneous. Yeah. We were like, "Hudge, we're leaving tomorrow." Uh, or no, something Hudge was, like that. I'll be, I, I was uh, I was in the same boat you are right now. Yeah, but I was really surprised. Hutch was just like on board for the adventure. Okay, yeah. and uh, I, I could see it. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, that sounds awesome. Statement I retracted. Hutcherson. Thank you. Oh, you got got. Um, got, got by the we're Hutcherson. actually thinking about doing that again. We're going to go to uh, the Niagara Falls and hang out with Julian Splane. Oh, cool. In 2024, we're going to go see the next total solar eclipse. The total eclipse of our hearts. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Man, we made that joke yeah. a few times. <laughs> we're going to keep making it, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Every now and then I get a little bit Shh, we got to get a demonetized. <laughs> Keep it. Cool it. Keep it to yourself and cool it. So, <laughs> so I've got one. Keep it cool. Cool it up. Um, it's kind of... It, uh, I read this book when back in 2008, and it was you about... You want to read another one? <laughs> I, yeah, I'd love to read another one. I'd I'm love sorry. To read I'm sorry. Book. I can't read this. Wide open. <laughs> um, and it was about this man who traveled the entirety of the Pan American Highway from the bottom of Chile all the way to Alaska. Um, mm. And he dr drove the whole way on a Triumph motorcycle. Mm. And he did it with it a friend, of course. very hot and then very cold. Well, they did it in such a way to where <laughs> um, it was mostly fine and then cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, because it goes from not uh, it goes from the very tip of Chile Just all the way to the Arctic Circle. Yeah. And um, it's the longest road in the world. It only breaks off at one part, and that's in Panama. Uh, it goes from uh, Colombia to Panama, mm -hmm. and it's like a 13 mile like area where you just cross with a ferry. Mm. And um, I'm I've always always wanted to do it. Um, the only thing like that scared me is that he had a bad car uh, motorcycle accident in uh, Peru, mm. and he, he was stuck in Peru for like an extra month longer than he wanted to. Yeah, oh, shit. Um, is he like in the hospital or something? Yeah, he like it, he was. Not bedridden, but he he was he was an older man when he did it, mm -hmm. so he just took some extra time. Oof. And I bought, but that being said, uh, I've always I've I was I'm born in I was born in Alaska. I have no memories of it. They moved when I was nine months old. Yeah, I would love to like go to Alaska by seeing most of this side of the world. Yeah, 
I think that'd be super cool. Mm. It'd be interesting. You'd probably have to fly down to Chile yeah, and yeah. then buy a motorcycle. Yeah. They actually, because uh, they got lucky He because this guy wrote books, travel books before. Yeah. He got sponsored by Triumph Motorcycles. And they just shipped they a motorcycle shipped down. two motorcycles That's down cool. there for him. Hmm. He got super lucky in that regard. But um, And it was really strange. So I lived in San Diego when I bought this <laughs> book. And one of their stops was at the Triumph uh, Motor uh, Motorsports in San Diego, mm. which there's not that many of in America because yeah. it's a British brand. So I just was like, fuck it. I'm going to go. I went there and I wanted to talk to them. I wanted to see what this motorcycle they were driving yeah. was. I went there. They actually had a picture of them <coughs> up like there mm. from the book I had just got done reading. <sighs> and it was just like a really cool experience to like to be at a part of the story I was a big yeah, part was of. Yeah, really cool. And ever since then, I've just been like, wow, that would be a really cool way to see half of the world. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to do that. I, um, when I take road trips, I prefer ones that change roads. So the idea of, of spending, how long was the trip? Months? Uh, it was a three month trip. Yeah. <clears throat> spending three months on the same road sounds exhausting yeah yeah granted but it's you're, different you're countries you're covering a lot of land that's so fair. you're gonna see that's a lot fair. of different stuff it's not like you're just on like highway 40 the whole time you know so. <laughs> yeah it's um no it, actually that's one of the parts that they mentioned was two things that they hated about america was that the food was terrible <laughs> and compared to this, um, all of south america yeah. i can kind of believe it yeah um, and then that the drive was the most boring part was America because all the interstates and whatnot, because the Pan American Highway is part of an interstate at some points through yeah. through uh, America, and there was there's the most boring. Usually, usually flanked by trees and, yeah, and yeah. shit. Yeah. So it's yeah. They did not enjoy that aspect. Nobody's of it. trying to attack you with a car or a bus. Actually, they got more injured in America than anywhere yeah. else. Well, that's amazing. But wow. it was it was such a strange like off putting book as far as like America. At the time, yeah, I didn't have you... uh, I didn't have a car, so yeah, it was an interesting. Well, book. speaking of like long trips that take forever to to take, something I've always had in the back of my mind that I've wanted to do was hike the um, Appalachian Trail. I had a uh, former roommate who did that. Yeah, it took him a few months, and then he had to take a break. Mm-hmm. Um. And then, like, build the funds back up. Yeah. yeah. So it's very expensive because you have to kind of plan ahead. And there's, like, little stops that you stop at along the way where you, like, mail your mail packages to yourself to, like, refund your food and things like that. Um, but it, it starts in, like, Georgia, the top part of Georgia, and it goes all the way up to Maine. Mm, yep. And you have to plan it in such a way that by the time you get to Maine, it's not winter anymore because they'll close part of the trail because it's dangerous in the winter. Yeah. Um, so some people have hiked the whole thing and then they get up there and they can't finish it because they're like, sorry, you're too slow. <laughs> and now you can't finish it. But there's, very, Sucks there's, to suck, nerd. <laughs> there's a lot of people who hike sections of it. Um, and there there's a, fewer people who do the, the through hike. Um, but I'd like to just do the through hike one day. I mean, the Appalachian Trail goes right next to my house where I grew up. Yeah. So that yeah. that's part of it. Um, I would love to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, but that one is much more, in my opinion, dangerous. Yeah. Um, and I'm not as familiar with the landscape out west. Um, so the Appalachian Trail is pretty much like the same type of fauna and flora all the way through. But <clears throat> the PC Trail starts in like the desert of Mexico. Yeah. So you have a desert to deal with. And then Ooh. you get up to the Sierra Nevadas and it's snow. Like in the middle of summer, it's like you're walking through snow and you have to deal with water and stuff like that. And it's a little bit harder to deal with out there. So it's I think much if I, tougher. Yeah, I think if I did do it, I would start on the side of the country where I'm more familiar with. Yeah. So, but that's something I've always thought about doing. You've been talking about that for years. Yeah. And I've also thought about just just doing it not practicing just fucking getting my pack and just going going then, full grizzly man yeah and then like of course if i'm like oh i can't do this i can stop you know but yeah. it's just kind of like i just want to fucking do it what was that book you read about the woman who just fucking did it on the pacific side yeah line? it was called uh straight i think <clears throat> or no it's called wild but yeah. cheryl i know her name is cheryl straight doesn't reese witherspoon play the yeah they made a movie, movie out of it it was really good <sighs> but um yeah that was kind of like that's how I found out about. I knew about the Appalachian Trail because I grew up with it, but yeah. I found out about the Pacific Crest Trail through that book, and it was really cool. I didn't know about cool. that one. 
Yeah, it's really cool. So, Day um, you should definitely check out the movie. The book is good too, but if you just want to see a movie, it's really good. I, I think have it's a lot called, of time. So. I think it's called Wild. So, well, okay. you can check it out. Cool. So that's one of the things that I might like to do. Yeah. Jess, yeah. how about you? I want to go to space and then die in space. You know. <laughs> so that would be I, at the end of your bucket <laughs> list. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I hundred percent respect that. So. I don't think I'll die die in space. I would rather die in space and then like either have my body shot into the sun mm-hmm. or have my body shot at the earth so that it could burn up. Mm, cool. Or not burn up and then fall on a small child <laughs> in Kansas. Okay. And just ruin their day completely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different kind of yeah, Superman. Hopefully by that point I'll have like a metal skeleton or something and that'll survive. Yeah. Terminator Jerris. <laughs> I do want. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> so I have told Brittany to put my ashes into a weather balloon when I die, and just that's it. Just send, put, send give it, it up upsies. There. Get it upsies, and then just let my mm-hmm. shit just go around a lot. Yeah, I just want to infest plan. the. I just want to infest the atmosphere with my ashes. Mm. Yeah, that's the plan. I yeah. want my electricity and matter to be returned to the earth or the sun. Yeah, the universe cool. in some way, shape, or form. Doing like a um. Now I think about it, that's, that's one that I, so like like one of those zero grav flights that they do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I would, everyone throws up after them. That's what I hear a whole lot. Yeah. So maybe not that, but I would like to go to space. Yeah. So I absolutely, I would still do that. I mm-hmm. absolutely want to go to space. Uh, it's one of my biggest dreams. But I want to go in a way. I want a space elevator to exist. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the just, way I want to go. Like a Willy Wonka. I don't want to ride a rocket. <laughs> I want. I mean, I would ride a rocket if someone's like, "Hey, Brian, guess what? You know what? I'm going to pay the ten million dollars for you to go to like right. the ISS right. or whatever." I'd be like, "Okay, fuck it." See, that's a, like space. I think is really cool, and I think like it's super awesome that people want to do it. But that's never like a bit of place that I've wanted to go to was mm-hmm. space. Um, my, oh, it's not a place where it's for my, us. My, yeah, <laughs> my thought is like number one, like cute, and I, this is gonna sound like god did intend humans to go to space but like humans like you literally like cannot live in space yeah, like right. it's just like crazy how deadly it is to me mm-hmm. and second of all i feel like there's so much shit on earth i haven't seen yet i'm not ready to leave earth yeah. so maybe when that's I'm, fair maybe if i've seen a bunch of stuff on earth and i'm like i've All seen 100 percent right, well, of earth <laughs> if after i've seen 100 percent of earth i'm like okay i can go to space but it's not to say that i think people who go to space are stupid or anything like that it's just that i don't want to go to space <laughs> i understand sure. so that actually, that, <laughs> so that actually goes in uh, in tandem with one of my other ones i want to go to every <clears throat> continent at least once yeah that'd be cool i want to go like I don't, obviously, we don't have long enough lives to go see the whole goddamn world. Yeah. But. Yet. Yeah, I can't wait for my robot organs. <clears throat> just get or for printed. global warming to eliminate most of the earth. There yeah. you go. <laughs> so it's just water world. You've get, got 10 feet of solid land. <laughs> there you go. We're also drinking our own piss. My dream. But I do want to, uh, I think the hardest one will probably be Antarctica. But I do want to go at some point. Well, they actually do trips. They do trips. For Antarctica, but they're very expensive. And they're also, you stay there a while. Yeah. It's only like, what, every two months they have a ship or mm-hmm. a plane Something that goes like out that. there? Yeah. So you got, okay. when you go, you're there for a little while. Or you have to go in the summer, which is technically the winter for us. Uh huh. But so they, during the winter there, they're pretty much for like, okay here's your supplies see you later Bye. see you in the yeah see and like months. there's a there's a small team of people who stay there to run like the facilities there but they can't even get people in and out in the winter so yeah. so yeah if you're going you're there for at minimum two months yeah and so then, I definitely suggest going in the summer <laughs> yeah otherwise after that i believe winter is like it's a uh six month yeah. wait yeah it's like a six month thing. unless you want to leave on a cargo boat even then, and then I don't know how often boats. the cargo no. boats go in and out. Well, I, we're actually going to do one of my bucket list That's things right. this year. Um, it's kind of a smallish thing, I guess, but um, I've been wanting to go on this trip for maybe like five or seven years. Mm-hmm. Um, we are going on like a tour bus type thing where the tour bus converts into like sleeper uh beds i'm gonna mm-hmm. say sleeper cells <laughs> into like little beds <laughs> and like bed. we cook food uh we do a lot of camping and for two weeks we're gonna go to a, a lot of the national parks out west oh cool 
um, and we're yeah. going in July. Is so. it like a tour or is it a bus that you're renting? No, oh, it's, a, it's tour. a tour. Okay. So it's called Greed Tortoise Tours. Okay. And um, yes. it's the National Parks Loop. Mm-hmm. is what it's called and we start in san francisco and we go up to um lake tahoe okay and then we go there's a bunch of places we go to but i know we're hitting grand yellowstone canyon, grand canyon grand Tons, yeah um, that's good so you've got all of them in your active memory at the same time so you can compare and contrast them you can build a sweet little list of which one's cooler yes yeah exactly yeah. well we also like got arches like arches is one antelope canyon is one monument valley is the one i'm looking forward to the most monument right now because we're going horseback riding the yeah. mobile game Yes, yes, it's the mobile game. <laughs> um, but it's just a cool little like two week trip that I've been wanting to do forever. Because that sounds awesome. Like I live in America, and I feel like I haven't seen half the country. Yeah, and so yeah. I'm like, let me go. Fly. Like I want to travel. Like also, most of my bucket list, affordable. most of my bucket list stuff is just traveling. Yeah. Like I'm content to go anywhere. If someone's like, hey, I'm taking a trip to this place, I'm like, okay, I'm going. Fuck I don't it, care. let's go. Yeah, I don't care where it is. I want to go everywhere. So. I thought, hey, let's start in my own country. That would be the easiest way to travel, I think, at first. So Mm -hmm. let's do this. So I actually put a deposit down at Christmas, and uh, we're going to be going in July. So I'm really excited. Oh, so you're in. Oh, yeah, we're locked in. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. It's pretty much what our (laughs) taxes are going to. Yep. Yeah. Um, so my, mine is, is, uh, my other one is similar with the whole travel bit because I want to go to Japan and I want to eat some, uh, Japan sushi and some A5 Wagyu beef made mm-hmm. by a person who knows how to cook it and not me. <laughs> uh, so got a few of those under your belt, actually. Yeah, boy. I, it's I good. think it's they're usually like pretty reasonably priced flights. Um, I, I was looking at them right now. Yeah, like it's like maybe a thousand something for flights, well, right? Mm-hmm. right? So now, we got Steph and I got it 500 bucks round trip per person. Oh, that's a great price. Yeah, yeah. that is a really good price. Then, so that, okay. that's the sort of thing that happens from time to time. And we right. usually keep our eyes out. Right now it, with so. the Olympics coming up, that's not happening. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty much, I, it's not going to happen this year, right. 2021, more likely. So I definitely, me and Brittany want to go. I think when we do end up going, our goal is to stay for an extended amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like three or four weeks. Yeah. I would like to do three. Yeah, yeah. We were we were there about three weeks, and I yeah. think that was a good amount of time. To I be just there. like if I'm going to spend all that money to go there, I want to get what I want out of yeah. it. You know, yeah. One of the things I want to do in that regard is I want to go to Osaka, uh, Osaka during their Merchant Festival, mm-hmm. and I just want to. Uh, it's basically you. Um, you gorge yourself on food. Mm-hmm. So you wake up and you go to a restaurant and you eat something. And they have mm-hmm. the this specific day of the year. They have, you don't order food. They have a thing at their restaurant that you are meant to eat as part of this trail. Oh, so it's like... <clears throat> like highlights of a bunch of different restaurants yes so and you just and you pay like a simple it's like uh the equivalent of five dollars or whatever per restaurant and you just go there they give you like uh this appetizer highlight and then you eat it you drink a beer and you go to the next restaurant and you do that all day yeah boy want to do that and um (laughs) because like um the history behind that is that osaka was a very much a merchant city yeah and all the people who had money were merchants, but they were lower class citizens and they weren't allowed to buy their money, on, spend their money on anything but food. Hmm. So they couldn't they, like, own land. They couldn't like own that. land. Yeah. They couldn't buy armor. They couldn't buy weapons. They couldn't do a whole lot of things and they couldn't buy titles, nothing. But they had all this fucking money. So they partied her really hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I um. So, so have you seen uh, Street Food on Netflix? I watched an episode so. yesterday. Um, so they were uh, highlighting uh, Osaka chefs and uh, street vendors, obviously. Yeah. Um, so uh, this one guy that they uh, prominently featured, um, uh, he was a person who. So so he makes a lot of you know kind of you know sushi um, dishes and all sorts of different things, but he also um, cooks tuna over a grill with a blowtorch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but but he does it with his hands. So he's got like what? a bath of <laughs> ice water to his right, blowtorch in the other hand, and he's moving it around, and he's like, he's got his hand under the flame, but he's constantly dipping his hand into his ice bath to keep that it cold. Insane. Yeah, that that's awesome. And, yeah. I would love to watch it. I'm glad I'm not him, but I would he, totally he eat He is an extremely that. personable <laughs> dude. Uh, he, he has a very, um, you know, 
uh, interesting background, uh, yeah. and I highly recommend it. Uh, okay. He he considers he considers like yeah. his customers his family and cool. and his workers and whatnot. So Osaka is really fucking cool. And next time we go back to Japan, I want to spend more time there because like Tokyo is super buttoned up, super polished. It looks like it looks like Canada. It looks like a place that isn't really lived in or, or mm. real uh -huh. um, for the most part. I mean, it's, it's still really cool, really interesting, but Osaka, like when we went down to Osaka, there were like skateboarders, there was detritus, there were like people living actual lives. There were a lot of like knockoff high fashion things there. It was a much more interesting place. More alive. Less, yeah. less like sanitized and, and, Okay. Uh, yeah, Osaka yeah. was really cool. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Japan, and I've always wanted to go to um, Weeb. <laughs> I've always, this is going to be Weebish. Uh, I've always wanted to go to uh, the shrine of Musashi. Mm -hmm. Musashi was the uh, very famous uh, swordsman who uh, started the two sword technique for samurais. Hmm. He is the subject of the. Brave Fencer Musashi. No, okay, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but he's the subject of their, basically, their Gone with the Wind, which is Musashi. Uh, it's this huge, epic uh, story that everyone in Japan knows. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I just fell in love with that book. Also, he's the author of the book, uh, The Art of the Five Rings, which is like what every businessman in Japan Thought uses. Thought it was the Art of War? No, that's Sun Tzu. Oh, okay. Just um, Never mind. I'll be quiet. Um, I didn't know if you were doing a shit post. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when people don't know whether I'm going to do a yeah. shit post or not. Yeah. So. But no, it, that just like those details interest me a lot. And I'd like to go and visit some of the aspects of yeah, that. That'd be really cool. My one regret is that we didn't do like an onsen, which is like one of the hot springs or bath. Oh, houses. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely oh, on our list. I can see that. Yeah. Like, we definitely want to do that. Next time we did a hot spring in the mountains of North Carolina. I forget where, but it was really nice. I want to do that, but it was really weird because it was just like before. like we just sat in a jacuzzi. <laughs> so it, <laughs> it, it was with the you know the hot water from the springs. It was just like okay. Hot, oh, I want to sit in like water. a natural like yeah. is some mm. fucking rock crevice that, that you're in that's why like, i thought we were going to get oh, okay <laughs> i'll tell you what there's a bunch of anime titties popping out <laughs> of you yeah it, it, you know, it, it, it's yeah. not too far from japan but one other place i've always wanted to go to has been vietnam mm -hmm. i want to go to vietnam it's not too far from japan well, it's not like it's <laughs> relative to relative to like us it's, it's actually probably a shorter flight than to japan yeah i think so huh well, do you guys? Uh, we technically like, did twenty minutes, but do you want to do another five no, minutes? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I think we all want to go to Japan. Well, yeah. yeah, no surprise there. Right, Weebs. <laughs>